Hey everyone, I'm Kevin. Welcome to this Mini Makers instructional video. Today, I'm going to help you build this kit. So today we have the scissor lift kit. Now this is one of the larger kits, so we're going to start by dumping out all of our pieces. We're going to have two wooden boards and we should have two syringes as well, uh, some sandpaper, a plastic tube, and a bag full of parts. So the first thing we want to do is pop out these two pieces from the lift. And you're going to fit them in just like this. So before you put the other piece in, you want to put the syringe onto that piece. There you are. Make sure everything's nice and secure. Then you're going to pop out the other two pieces. Just be careful not to break any of the other pieces while you're doing this. And make sure they're oriented correctly and place them in. So there I had the wrong orientation, I think. I'm just going to switch it around and make sure that I have the correct orientation. There we go. And all these pieces should be all the same height. Next, you're gonna take out, pop out this other piece, and then this just goes on to the uh, other side of these pieces that we popped up earlier. And they should fit in nicely. Uh, take your time with these. Uh, it's a little difficult to put four slots in at the same time, but you just wanna wiggle a little bit, get it lined up and it should fit in there nicely, just like that. Perfect. So, uh, the next step is we're gonna open up this bag, dump out all of our parts that we need, and we're gonna take a wooden, uh, metal rod like this. And this is just gonna go through all of those holes and those small pieces. You're gonna take two rubber stoppers and put them on each end. And then you're gonna take two more rubber stoppers and you're gonna put them with a little bit of spacing in between. So you'll see how much spacing I put there. Just like that. Next, you wanna pop out these uh, long pieces here. Just two of them at first. And then you're just gonna put them on the ends. Just like this. Once you've done that, you can then take your big base plate, the biggest one there is, and you're going to pop that one out. And so you can just get rid of all the scrap wood. And then you're also going to pop out these two pieces here. Uh, the two pieces that have the long slot in them and you're gonna fit them onto your base plate just like this Making sure that the uh, long slot is facing the side with the small holes And then you're gonna notice that there are four holes in the connection parts. These are for screws. So you're just gonna screw these in um, And then make sure that everything is nice and secure And once you've done that, you can then flip over the board again, and you're gonna attach this. So how you wanna attach this is you actually want to have it facing the other way, like this. So you want the, the plate to be facing up, therefore it'll slide nice and freely, and the pieces will figure it out. Then you're gonna separate those orange stoppers you made so that you can hold the piece securely in the center of that board. Just like this. And so the metal rod actually goes into those long slots that I talked about earlier. And to secure all of that, we're gonna put two more of these orange stoppers on the ends. Nice. And so yeah, the next step is to do the same, but on the other side. So you're gonna have this metal rod, put two stoppers on it, and then put two of the uh, wooden, long wooden pieces on it, and then spread that out. And 
and you're going to secure those with two more orange stoppers on the outside. Once you've done that, you can move on to the next step. So the next step would be connecting these two. So you'll notice that these long pieces have a hole in the center. And you just want to line those holes up with each other and take another one of your metal rods and just poke it through the hole. Just like this. And make sure to do it on the other side. But before you do that, you're going to take your orange stopper. You're going to slide it all the way down the pole. Put another orange stopper on the other side just to secure it. So you're just gonna slide it down and make sure that the rod's not going anywhere. Then you're gonna take the other side and do the same thing. So you wanna put an orange stopper on the rod, put the rod through the two uh, holes, and then put another orange stopper on the end. Just like that. And there you go, you've done the bottom portion of the scissor lift. So now we're gonna move on to the top portion. Actually, before we do that, I think we're gonna secure the syringe first. So to secure the syringe, we're gonna take these two U-shaped pieces and they just fit really nicely into the holes uh, beside the syringe that you can see there that I'm going to put these into. And so the fit's a bit tight, but you just want to wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, and then press down. And you should be able to get those in nicely. This is just to make sure that the syringe doesn't move all over the place when you are, are using the scissor lift. And so to attach these uh, syringe holders, you're gonna use some screws on the back of the base plate. I'm just gonna screw that in. There should be four holes for four screws. Now we can move on to the upper portion of the scissor lift. So you're gonna pop out the other upper base plate, as well as these two uh, plates here, and these two plates with the long slots as well. So you're gonna take the plates with the long slots and they're just gonna run on the sides of the plates and you're just gonna wiggle those in. And you wanna make sure that both of these plates are uh, orientated the same. So this long slit is on the same side for both plates. See? And then to secure these plates again, you're gonna use some screws. Just screw all in. There should be four screws for this one as well. So once these have been screwed in, you can then work on the other side of the uh, other side of the upper base, upper lift. So you want to put these two pieces together, just like so. And you're gonna put the other piece on the other side. Make sure the uh, side with the indents on one of the pieces matches the side with the uh, attachment points. These dis indents are just there so that they can avoid the screw head on the other, other piece. So you're just going to fit it in like so. And I would recommend doing this one side at a time. 
just because it's a little bit easier to do it this way because it's such a wonky piece here. So once you've done that, you can then use some screws and attach everything. So you're just going to put a screw through the end there, and again, there's four screw points here, so you just want to do that. So after you've done that, you can then uh, take the rest of these pieces, and so you're going to put a mess, uh, metal rod through the ends of these pieces. First you're going to put a metal stopper on there, then a rod, then on the other side you're going to put another metal stop, uh, another, another rubber, rubber stopper, then one or more of these long pieces, and you're going to attach them through the uh, holes on the bottom of the upper plate like so and to secure these you're just going to put more of these rubber stoppers on the ends and then you're going to do the same thing except this time the metal rod will go through that long slit on the plate, on the boards so you'll see that shortly Again, you put a metal stopper on the rod, then you put a wooden piece, then another metal stopper. I mean a rubber stopper, sorry. And then the other wooden piece. And you just wanna slide this into that long slot there. So then you're gonna secure it. And you're going to want to put two more of these uh, orange stoppers on the ends. So once you have done that, you can then do the same thing we did with the lower piece, which is find the hole in the center of these two long rods and stick uh, a metal rod through them. But first remember to put the orange stopper in between. And then you're gonna use another stopper to secure it in place. Do the same thing for the other side. So I forgot to put a stopper on the inside, so we're just gonna quickly do that quickly. There we go. And put the stopper on the other side. And there you've made the upper portion of your scissor lift. Now what we need to do is combine these two portions. Combining these two portions is quite simple. You just simply gotta line up the end of the long pieces because they both have holes on them and then stick a metal rod through them. So this is what I'm doing currently. And you just want to take a rod and put it through, put a metal stopper on, I mean a, a rubber stopper. It's a little difficult to put these on, but with uh, a little patience, they should go on no problem. 
So we'll slide that all the way to the end there. Do the same for them for the other side. And then basically put two more orange stoppers on the ends of the metal rod just to stop it from moving anywhere. Once you've done that, you gotta repeat the same thing on the other side. So exactly what we did before, put the metal rod through, put the stoppers on, and then uh, secure everything. Here I am putting the last two stoppers on. And then we just need to do the final step, which is attaching the two syringes. So you're gonna take your plastic tube and you're gonna put it one over one side of the uh, syringe. You just wanna slide that on there as much as you can. And the other side just goes on to the other syringe. And there, you're finished your, your scissor lift. As you can see, as I push uh, in one syringe, the scissor lift goes up and down.